you know, you would think in 2023, we'd stop having issues with people, you know, making content about being a race fan or enjoying their time at a racetrack or sharing to the world why they like to go watch cars race. But for one certain dirt track, this seems to be a huge issue. And I couldn't believe when I started seeing this, but I just, it's still laughable to me. So let's go take a look at what I saw from the folks over at Dirt Tracker. Dirt Tracker under Twitter said, check out Lernerville Speedway's photo and video policy for their track this season. Also ignore the lifted watermarked photo that they used for their Facebook posts. So going into this, a man by the name of John Antoniono. He, apparently he works for Lernerville Speedway in the media area, I think. But he put out on Facebook a post that has since been deleted, and I think you can understand for why it would be deleted. But John here said, I was asked to remind everyone and to inform everyone of this year's rules with video and photos. No video shall be recorded at the track. This includes cell phone footage. We have hired extra staff to enforce this rule that was put in place last season. You will be warned, then asked to leave the property if asked again. Photographers this season, you will be required to submit all photos to us before you leave the event. These photos will be used for us as we wish. Refusing to do so is refusing entry. We will have a station set up for you to submit your pictures to be copied over to our backup system. So basically they're saying any photos that you get for a driver that you're paid to go take care of, it's not really yours. It belongs to the Speedway at that point. And anyone recording anything, even on just a phone, you're in big trouble, mister. And you better hand that over to me because you ain't allowed to have it. Only I am. This is the most backwards policy that you can have right now. It's no secret. Short track racing is hard to keep up. You got to have as many people interested in your speedway as possible. My buddy Slapshoes, he's on a mission to help try to preserve short track racing. Well, Slapshoes walks in there and they're going to say, get the heck out. You're not welcome here. And so this is just so freaking backwards. And I can't believe that we're still having issues like this in 2023. It makes no sense to me. But going in back into this Twitter thread, Lernerville Speedway then said in response to Dirt Tracker, we have been made aware that a post from a fake account posted by a person of no affiliation of Lernerville Speedway nor Dirt.TV slash Lernerville TV has gone viral. Rest assured, there is no such policy in place. Are you sure about that? You sure about that? Are you sure about that? Because it don't look that way. And reading into this a little bit more from Dirt Tracker, To add to the Lernerville intrigue, this is a photo from their own Facebook page from October 4th. The top of the black and yellow sign clearly says no video recording. Then they offered up a closer shot of this. It says no video recording. Once in the venue, please discontinue use of any video recording devices, including cell phones. Anyone caught using any device to record video of the events inside this venue will be ejected immediately without warning and no refund. All video recording must have written consent from Lernerville Speedway. So, I don't know what to say anymore about this. I mean, this is just stupid. Guys, if you want your track to to succeed, you should be encouraging people to make content about it. You know, I think of some great short track guys who are producing good content. Landon Huffman, for example. Hunt the Front. Those guys have been making good content about their race weekends for a long time and is promoting the local short tracks that they race at. Yeah, I think Landon Huffman had a little issue at Hickory recently. Seems like that got worked out. I I hope at least. But why are we still doing this? All right, it it is 2023. This should no longer be an issue. I, I had some issues with NASCAR for the longest time, but now you see I get to go to quite a few races now and we get to make content about, you know, certain things. We get to go do interviews. A track like that should want someone to be there doing any content that they can get and promoting the Speedway. Seeing this makes anyone like me or anyone else think, I better not go there. I will be kicked out. So, Lernerville Speedway, it sounds like there's a cover up to try to say, no, we didn't say that, but I don't know. They say it's okay, but at the same time, the signs, 
And the original Facebook post says otherwise. So if you're going to go to Lernerville Speedway, be careful. Uh, they might try to delete everything off your phone. So that's my warning to you guys. If you want to go to races, have fun as always. And I encourage you to go have the best time. Honestly, at this point, I would say 2,500 people show up to Lernerville Speedway. Phones up in the air. Take as much video and photo you can get. They can't stop all of you. So I don't know. It's a, it seems stupid. I, I, I wish, I, I don't even know why this is, should be an issue, but it is. And it's just so messed up. Lernerville Speedway, do better, guys. You, you, you need the content. All short tracks need the content. Anyways, I'm Danny B. Hope you guys have a great day. And, uh, hopefully we get to go see some dirt racing ourselves over at Bristol this weekend. Weather's not looking the greatest. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned to the channel this weekend, though, if and when they do race. Uh, hopefully we'll be there for some post race interviews afterwards. Until next time, I'm Danny B. You guys have a great day. Bye, guys. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching this video from Danny B Talks. If you're new to my channel, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you'll never miss another new video here on Danny B Talks. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.